now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Call with your car questions at 888-CAR-CLINIC. With us on the hotline now is Ian Callum, Design Director for Jaguar. Ian's illustrious auto design resume includes, and get this folks, the Aston Martin Vanquish, the V12 powered DB7 Vantage, Aston Martin's Project Vantage concept car, as well as a wide range of design programs for Volvo and Mazda. The Nissan R390 that he designed in 98, and in 2006, Ian was honored with a Royal Designer for Industry Award from the Royal Society of Arts and was joint recipient with his younger brother of the Jim Clark Memorial Trophy awarded annually to Scots who have made a major contribution to the world of motoring. Speaking of his younger brother, Maury Callum is Ford Executive Director of Design for the Americas. Wow. Car design runs heavily in the Callum family. Ian also won the British Auto Express in North Inaugural Person of the Year Award in 2009 due to his work on the Jaguar XK, the Jaguar XF, and the Jaguar XJ. Ian Callum was named one of the Men of the Year 2012 by Top Gear Magazine for designing beautiful cars. Ian joins us today to discuss the new Jaguar XF and the new F-type body. Ian, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. I don't know how you're going to follow that intro. Well, I feel much flatter than pre- at the moment. I didn't realize my portfolio sounded so good, but thank you very much indeed. <laughs> You're welcome. The Jaguar XL is the current best-selling Jaguar and the most awarded. What about the car design do you think leads to such a success? Well, the original XF, I think it's quite a unique design. We don't tend to follow everybody else when we're designing cars. I try and build an avert sportiness into them, which, which appeals to people. And I think also the fact that we really changed the whole visual look of the brand with that car uh, six or seven years ago now but it's just an exciting car it's great to drive and in certain engine forms it's also very economical now we've replaced it well ian unveiling the new xf share with our car clinic listeners and viewers the segment leading design features just give us a thirty thousand foot view of the features of the new xf well from an exterior point of view the the body is in is in aluminum so the car is actually about 400 pounds lighter than the previous one which makes a great advantage in terms of efficiency and power to weight and it's just a very very simple sleek but I think a beautiful design and it's got a coupe profile a coupe profile as Jaguar should have so it looks overtly sporty as well interior wise we've increased the size of the cabin quite tremendously over the old car so the rear seat passengers get much more room than before and um, and the really the real buzz one is that uh, all our infotainment system the touch screen the electronic dashboard and uh, the digital systems are state of the art so you can apply all your own apps from your phone onto the car and communicate through them and it's just a great fun place to be really. I can only imagine we're talking with Ian Callum design director for Jaguar. Ian given the cafe mandates car makers are pouring tremendous human and financial resources into making more fuel efficient vehicles. You mentioned the 400 pound removal of weight from the car. Fill our car clinic audience and viewers in with the fuel efficiency of the new X. Well, it's extremely fuel efficient. You know, uh, you guys are going to get the, the V6 to begin with, but we also have a four-cylinder coming. And the four-cylinder actually gets up to about 70 miles to per imperial gallon. I'm not quite sure if the U.S. gallon is, but it's about 70 miles per gallon. The car this size, it's a remarkable achievement. And, you know, a lot of it is about weight savings, about very efficient engines. And it's also about aerodynamics. We've got a, a CD figure of uh, 0.26, which is very low. And so everything falls into into the notion that uh, it's all about efficiency. It's all actually about CO2, to be honest with you. But of course, if you got a low CO2 reading, then you're going to get uh, a very, very efficient car. Well, at, at 0.26, that's so efficient that it's hard to imagine. I mean, it brings thoughts of race cars to me. Uh, another question, how do you approach the redesign of one of the most popular vehicles in the Jaguar range? Well, it was a challenge, I have to tell you, because I, we created the XF, myself and the team, and we created something quite new and different. And people look at it now and still think it's a new car. I mean, it's, it's, it's sold last year better than ever. 
and so it wasn't broken you know the car is very popular I decided quite consciously we would evolve the car into the next stage rather than try and revolutionize it again uh, and create something which was as good if not better but also to bring in a lot of the attributes that the other car was missing especially an interior package and trunk space so compared with the old car one of the, one of the mandates was to make the interior actually larger than the old one which we've managed to do quite successfully but it is a huge challenge and we went a lot of debates about the atmosphere of the car the character of the car but I really didn't want to lose the character of the old one but we just made it better really sounds better I understand that Jaguar recently announced that the 2016 F-Type will feature an expanded lineup can you just give us an overview our car clinic audiences a bit about what this includes Okay, sure. Now, we already have uh, the 3-litre V6 and the, the, the 5-litre V8 engines in the car. And this next year, you're going to get a manual. In 16 model year, you're going to get a manual, a six-speed box uh, with the car in the 3-litre form, in the V6 form. Also, uh, there's an all-wheel drive uh, car as well. And, you know, for the U.S., the U.S. market is uh, most demanding for the manual, funnily enough, believe it or not. And also, all-wheel drive is very popular here, especially in the northern states, as you know. So we're offering these two extra products into the range. They're both hugely fun to drive, of I, course. I can only imagine, especially with a six-speed. Again, Ian Callum, design director for Jaguar. And Ian, I want to thank you for taking your time. I know that you're shuffling back and forth in the New York Auto Show, and I know that's a huge event. I just have one more question, if you have the time. I understand that Jaguar Land Rover plans to invest almost $600 million at Castle Bromwich to support the introduction of the new XF. That's a serious commitment, Ian. It's a very serious commitment, but we've invested in factories over the last three or four years tremendously, and I'm talking about over a billion a billion dollars, including Solihull and, of course, factories in China. But it's a huge commitment. It's long-term, and it's something that we're absolutely um, bound to do, given that the number of projects we're doing, the products we're making, we're going to get more numerous, and it's just something we have to do and get on with. But I think it does show a commitment to a long-term future. Well, there's no doubt in my mind, and I'm sure our car clinic audience's mind, that Ratan Tata made a wise decision when he turned you loose in the design studio. You have to feel proud about that. I know how fabulous the XJL is because I drive one. So hats off to you, Ian Callum, and hats off to your team and to Jaguar for bringing to uh, America a car that, in my own words, I can categorically say is the biggest bang for the buck you can buy today. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and as I said before we start, I said, uh, you know, my job is to make people smile. So I'm glad you like it. Well, I am smiling. I'm sure you can see it. Uh, again, hats off. Uh, let you get back to work. And uh, I thank you for your time here on Car Clinic Network. Thank you very much. Thank you. We let him get back to work. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's work. Uh, I, I am smiling, and, and, and truly, because uh, when you drive an automobile, and, and you ha I, guess, I guess it pays to be, in this case, a car guy like I, because when you drive something that you truly enjoy, and you say, well, I worked for this, and I, I'm, I'm going to choose the car that I want to buy, and, and uh, whether it's a Jaguar or, or, or whether it's a, uh, a Chevrolet Volt, it doesn't matter. It, it's what your choice is and uh, how, how, great it is, how great it is to be a car guy in a car world. And if you don't think that this is a car world, if, if there's a car that's not out there that you want, just wait six months and somebody will come out with it.